Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6, Episode 1. Today we're going to be talking about the two new sneak peeks that they've released for Tuesday's premiere episode. So, we're going to be breaking that down. Also, Melissa Benoist has done an interview, and she's talked about Supergirl's ending. So, we need to break it down and go through what she says, because she reveals a lot of stuff about how Supergirl will end at the end of the season. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so remember guys, Supergirl is going out Tuesday night after The Flash. We're going to be reviewing it, doing a trailer breakdown. Also, we're going to be reviewing The Flash as we've been doing since the premiere a couple of weeks ago. So I'm super excited that Supergirl is back and I can't wait to be covering the show. However, it is on a bit of sweet note that, you know, every time we go through one episode, it's going to be that last episode. So we're going to have a final episode one and final episode two ever of Supergirl. So anyway, let's go ahead and break down this interview with Melissa first and then we'll get into the sneak peeks. So this is how it goes, this is from Entertainment Weekly and the title is Supergirl star Melissa Benoist teases Kara's lovely ending and there is a quote, I feel fantastic about it. Alright, so let's go down and, and read out what Melissa says. Okay, so Entertainment Weekly started with this question. How do you feel about the show ending? Do you feel like this is the right time to say goodbye to Kara? And Melissa says, yeah, we all kind of came to this conclusion. We're so proud of everything we've been able to accomplish in the last five, almost six years. It's been such a long journey, changing networks, changing cities we shot in, and changing the nights we've aired. We've gone through so much on the show, and I think creatively, we were able to step back and say, that we're really proud of everything we've done and it felt like the right time. So that is her response to them asking about Supergo ending and I think that is a really good answer because that basically wraps up, yes, there was no cancellation. It was everyone stepping back and being like, now maybe it might be a good time. We could end here and it's gonna be like a really, really solid run. And also, you know, Melissa wants to do other things, so do other people behind the show. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Do you have any idea of where Kara's story is heading? How do you feel about the ending that's in store? They pitched it to me because they wanted to know if I had any input as to where I wanted to see Kara ending up at the end of the series. And I had one request, and it wasn't even something they were thinking about doing. And they pitched me the end, and it's really lovely. It's a great ending, and I feel fantastic about it. So this pretty much confirms that Melissa had one request. And I really do think this request was, don't kill Kara off, because this is not what Supergirl should stand for, and this is not how we should end the show. I really feel like that is what Melissa asked for and they weren't even considering doing that. So I feel like the way that she words it means that, you know, whatever she asked, it was like, you know, a far out option that they weren't even thinking about doing. So that doesn't mean like how her character arc is specifically gonna end, like what final scene it is. But I think it's in terms of like, don't kill her off because that is the main comparison they have. They have Arrow, they killed off Oliver Queen at the end of Arrow. And I feel like Melissa's one request was probably that. That's my theory. What do you guys think about that in the comments down below? And so they pitch me the end and it's really lovely. And so if it was Supergirl is going to die at the end of season six, it's going to be the final episode of the show, Supergirl dies, she wouldn't say it's really lovely. So I think with her saying it's really lovely, it's a great ending, I feel fantastic about it. I really think this leads towards the idea that they're probably going to end with her going off to the future to join or be the leader of the Legion of Superheroes and that is how they're going to end it. You're going to see the return of mon in the final episode. You're going to see maybe Brainy and Nia going forward to the future and becoming full-time Legionnaires. And then everyone else kind of taking a back seat, maybe just living their lives. I think Alex and Kelly are probably going to have a kid. They're going to have to look after the kid. And so I think Supergirl is going to have that happy ending that we've been theorizing about. So with her saying it's really lovely, that means Supergirl isn't gonna die. No way Supergirl dies if she's describing it like this. Let's move on to the next question. How is Kara growing this season? The more Kara matures, the more she's grappled with her power and what it means to carry the powers that she has on Earth and her identity as either an alien or human or where she belongs. Those are things we're really exploring this year with her and what makes you strong, what makes you feel empowered. 
those are things we're looking at this season across the board for all of the characters but with Kara specifically this season is going to be more of a self-exploration looking into the mirror and contemplating what her power means because it's almost limitless and it makes her so strong on earth so where does she draw the line how does she reconcile that with her humanity okay so this is pretty much the same answer that the showrunners gave so I don't know how they do these Entertainment Weekly interviews, whether they're written up, but it's very similar. So maybe she got given some bullet points or she gave bullet points to the showrunners. It's probably the other way around that she was given bullet points to say. So it seems very much the saying the same thing, that this is the way they're going to go forward with Kara's character for at least most of the season. It's not going to be like the full story, so don't freak out about it yet, guys. But it is going to be like a focus in the background. Obviously, apart from the story, because the story is the main focus, obviously. These are just some of the themes. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So, where do things stand with Kara and Lena this season? Melissa says this, I think everything they went through last season really solidified their bond and friendship. And the fact that they were able to heal shows just how deep that friendship runs. Lex is back in this season, so the ever-present danger of her psychotic brother is enough for them to let water flow under the bridge. That relationship, I think, is one of the most important in the show. Katie and I have always approached it, really wanting to explore female friendships and how women relate to each other and support each other. That will definitely be a big part of the final season. So, yeah, I agree, and I think it's very exciting that they are finally friends because it's been this back and forth for such a long time between Kara and Lena, and they are supposedly supposed to be, like, best friends or, like, one of the best friends. So, I don't know why they're always fighting, like, I get that it's there for conflict, for story in the season, but they've always been described as best friends by, like, the showrunners and everything, yet they always seem to be fighting, and last season was just, like, the most fighting that they've ever done. And I think that storyline went a bit out of hand, however, I'm really excited to see them two actually being good friends and working as a team, because Lena's gonna be part of Team Supergirl more so this season, and I'm actually excited to see that. Okay, so let's move on to this bit. Did you feel a sense of relief now that you moved past how angsty those two were in the last season? Melissa says, yes, completely. I love working with Katie, and any excuse to do any scene with her is fine by me, but yeah, I think both of us are a bit relieved there's no more tension anymore, and I can't agree with Melissa more. I really do think it's going to be much better this season. Okay, so Kara and Alex's relationship is another fundamental aspect of the show, what's in store for their relationship in the final season. Melissa says, I think that sisterhood is the bedrock of the show. I agree, this is me speaking. There's no shortage of Kara and Alex moments this season. Alex has her own journey of coming into her own, realizing her full potential and what living her best life looks like. There's a two-parter where we get to see young Alex and Kara again. I think those kinds of episodes are some of our strongest when we go back to Midvale. Just taking a look and seeing what makes their bond so strong I think is a really fun way for fans to see. Also, it's really relatable as well. Melissa's completely right. It's definitely the bedrock of the show. I think those two are the best characters, that being Kara and Alex. There would be no Supergirl TV show without them. I would contend that. And so Alex is going to be having her own journey this season as well as having those moments with Kara as well. And so I really feel like Alex and where she is going to be heading is towards her best life which will be having that kid that she's been talking about for years. So this is a very important question. So given your maternity leave, how much of you will we see in the first half of the season? Melissa replies, I came back from maternity leave in January and I had some catch up to do. So I'm not absent from the first half of the season, but I'm in a different place. Supergirl is quite isolated. This pretty much confirms a lot of our theories. I really think Supergirl is going to be stuck in the Phantom Zone for the first half of the season. I think that will be the way that she doesn't actually sacrifice herself and die because sacrificing doesn't mean dying. It might be going away for a long time to stop Lex, for instance. And we know from the trailers, Lex does have the Phantom Zone projector. So I'm thinking with her saying Supergirl is quite isolated and in a different place, she literally said different place. I really think this confirms that for the first half of the season, you're going to see glimpses of Kara every episode. Obviously, maybe not in the two-part episode where we go back to Midvale, which Melissa mentioned. She's going to be pretty much away from most of the cast. 
but that's just a theory and I really do think she's just confirmed it but I'm going to make a separate video on this and go into actual detail about that theory that she's going to be in the phantom zone for the first half of the season and that's going to be her sacrifice. Okay, so that's it for the interview. Now let's go ahead and get into the sneak peek. So that was a really good interview from EW talking to Melissa. Very nice to get Melissa talking about the new season. We haven't had that in a very, very, very long time. So nice to see Melissa back. Okay, so let's talk about the sneak peek. There is two different sneak peeks that we're going to be quickly going through and breaking down. So the first sneak peek includes the whole team. I don't think Brainy is there, or at least we don't see him in the shots in the sneak peek. However, Supergirl is there, Alex is there, Kelly's there, Jean's there, and also new team member of Team Supergirl, Lena, is also present, and she plays a big part in this sneak peek because you get to see them talking about Lex's plans. She talks about an example of these two mice that Lex experimented on. One had golden eyes who adored Lex, however the other one didn't have those golden eyes and obviously didn't adore Lex and that one vanished and basically exploded and died. And so what's going on here is, that is the example for what's gonna happen if Lex goes through with his plans, which it seems like he will do. He's going to kill half of the world, like half of the population, he's gonna kill them. And so that's obviously very similar to Thanos, thought that was really interesting. And so I really think that he's gonna go through with this, but they're gonna stop like that other half from dying, but this is big confirmation that what he is planning is literally to wipe out half of existence on Earth and they're going to have to stop him. And this is all because of Lena's device she made and because he linked it up to a satellite. Basically, that's able to go all around the world and that's how he's going to get it into people's minds. So half of the population is going to love and adore him. They're going to have those golden eyes. Kelly talks about the golden eyes in the sneak peek. And so the other half aren't going to adore him and they're all going to die off. So could some of our heroes die? Obviously there is a chance. It depends if they're able to stop Lex on time or is there going to be some sort of casualties. And so as the sneak peek ends, you get to see Dreamer as she tries to tap in to see what Lex is up to, I would presume. So she proceeds to use her powers and that's where the sneak peek ends. Okay, so let's move on to the next sneak peek. This is sneak peek number two for episode one, obviously coming this Tuesday. And this one shows Lex and his mum. His mum talks about how he's completely obsessed with the Kryptonians, with Supergirl specifically. And so Lex uses his new kryptonite device on the wall and you get to see the House of L symbol. And that's when she talks about that. But then Lex goes on to talk to his mum to say that aliens shouldn't rule the world, it should be Luthor's. So that's what he thinks and that is his plan to use Obsidian to control half the world and like the other half is going to die. And so he will be in control because everyone's going to love and adore him and he's going to be like the president over like the whole entire world. So what do you guys think about all of this? What do you think of the sneak peeks? They give away quite a lot as to Lex's plans. They're definitely very focused on Lex. You can see the whole team there. Supergirl is there. Obviously in the interview that we talked about, Melissa isn't going to be in that much of the season. That being the first eight episodes because she returned when episode eight started filming, I believe. So she went back, did a whole month of filming and they're going to have those extra scenes for those first episodes. But it's pretty obvious that she's going to be in not that much, although she will be showing up with her own storyline. She just is going to be isolated away from Team Supergirl. It's pretty much impossible for them to put her with Team Supergirl all the time. So I really think this Phantom Zone theory is what's going to happen. But we'll make an extra video on that very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. Also remember you can become a member and we do monthly Zoom calls. So now is the time to join if you want to support the channel and become a member of the DC TV show. But for now, click here and click here for my new videos that just came out yesterday and the day before. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.